Have you ever wondered how to prepare a piece of furniture for milk paint? Well, you're in luck because that's what we're going to talk about today. My name is Cindy and I'm with reinventeddelaware.com. We share lots of tutorials over on our blog and on our YouTube channel, but today I'm sharing these tips with you, Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint followers, and I'm so excited to be here. Let's get started. This is the piece that I'll be working on today. It's a church communion table and my husband found it at an auction and only paid $2 for it. Can you believe that? I believe that this table was handmade. The trim that you see there on the apron is trim that would be used on cabinetry. I believe that those legs were factory turned and I just think that someone found these pieces and put this together to be the communion table at their church. When he brought the piece home, it was filthy. It was covered in dust, of course, and a lot of dirt, to be perfectly honest. There were cobwebs underneath the table surface and underneath the legs. It was just everywhere. I gave it a good shot back really quick while it was still in the driveway being unloaded from the truck. And then I mixed up a soapy water with Dawn dish soap and water right from the hose. I hosed it down. I used a scrub brush and the soapy water and I cleaned it really well and then I gave it a good rinse and it sat out in the driveway in the sunshine for a good eight or ten hours. I've been kind of using it as a kitchen island for the past several weeks but now it's time to paint it so let's clear all the decor off, move my tablecloth and get this piece ready to paint. I went ahead and cleaned it again with another solution of Dawn dish soap and a microfiber cloth and I just gave it a really good wipe down. It's been in the kitchen and you know there's grease in the air from cooking and that sort of thing. So I wanted to give it a really good cleaning before I started to paint. Cleaning the piece before you scuff sand it like you see here is very important. If you scuff sand and then clean, chances are you're going to work some of the grime and oils into the wood and then you'll never get it out. You don't wanna do that. Always clean the piece first and then use a fine grade sanding pad like the one I have, mine is flexible, and go over the whole piece very quickly and just do a scuff sand. You're just knocking off some of the shine. When you're finished with that, use another dry microfiber cloth and wipe down the whole piece to capture all the dust. I'll be painting this piece right here in the kitchen, so I wanna protect my floor. I like to use these flat boxes that I get from Walmart in the packing department and I flatten them out and it makes a wonderful surface for painting. The next step is to apply two coats of shellac. Shellac is an all natural, non-toxic clear coat that will seal off the furniture. The first coat will seal it all in. You wait an hour, you paint the second coat, for the final seal and then let it dry overnight before you apply the paint. Shellac can be cleaned up with ammonia and water, but be very careful if you do that because it can splash into your eyes. I typically use a chip brush and then I throw it away when I'm done. In between coats, I put the chip brush in a Ziploc bag and I just wait for the first coat to dry, then I pull it out of the bag and I give it the second coat. When I'm finished with the second coat, I just toss the chip brush into the trash. That way I don't have to worry about cleaning it. Chip brushes are very inexpensive. They're about 50 cents a piece. I buy them in bulk and I use them and then I'm done with them. Now it's time to mix up the paint. Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint is mixed with a one-to-one -one ratio. That's one part dry powder to one part water for the amount that I needed, I doubled that. I also put in a couple drops of Milk Mix Ease, and that helps to incorporate the powder into the water, and it also reduces the foam that can be created when you're mixing Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint. I gave it a really good store, stir and then let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then it was time to paint the first coat. I'm using a synthetic brush to apply the paint. I really like this brush. By the way, you won't have to worry about any brush marks with Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint. It's very thin and there's no place to leave brush marks no matter what kind of brush that you use.
After painting the legs, you can see down there, it might seem like the paint doesn't have very good coverage, but Miss Mustard Seed's milk paint always looks like this on the first coat. Anytime that you paint a light color over top of a dark surface, you're going to have to apply two to three coats of that paint. And Miss Mustard Seed's milk paint is no different than that. So the first coat always looks a little bit rough, but be patient. By the time we get to the second and third coat, you're going to be amazed at the coverage that this paint delivers. Here we go with the second coat. This gives you a close-up view of what that second coat looks like. It really does cover well. Here's a look at the surface of the second coat. It's still a little bit wet and you can also still see through that paint a little bit. We're going to go ahead and apply a third coat. If you look closely, you can start to see before I paint over it that the paint has started to crackle. You can really see it on the top here. That's the second coat. That crackling is caused because of that shellac finish. It really creates an authentic aged look. You can see here the difference between the third and the second coat. Go ahead, oh, there's a good shot of the crackling. Isn't that beautiful? Go ahead and paint right over top of that crackling. It will continue to come through the third coat. To distress the piece, I use a little knife and a worn out sanding sponge. And then also you see my knife sharpener there. I take that knife and I just very, very quickly scrape away all the high edges that I think that the piece would have naturally worn alongside. Milk, this milk paint has not completely cured, so it's very easy to chip it off this way. You'll also notice that there are some grayish marks left by the knife. I use the worn out sanding sponge and just erase them off and it smooths out the surface perfectly, really giving this piece a time-worn look. You can see here, after I've chipped it up with the knife edge, I use a worn out sanding sponge. It's a very fine grade and it's practically worn out and it just erases those gray marks, plus it smooths out the surface. I vacuum the piece down because that gets pretty messy. And then the last step is to apply a clear coat. Miss Mustard Seed has a clear coat called Milk Coat and it's kind of thick. Think about the consistency of room temperature butter. That's about the consistency of this. On the legs, I applied it with that chip brush. For the top, I'm using a damp finishing sponge to smooth it on. It might look like I'm scrubbing this 
only because the video is fast, but I'm just applying a really thin layer. I applied it long ways, the first coat long ways, if that makes sense, and then the second coat I went in the opposite direction to create a little bit of texture to the top surface of this adorable communion table. There you have it, the simple steps to prepare a piece of furniture for milk paint. Let's review over those steps really quickly. All you need to do is first find the piece and $2, hey, that's a deal. Then you bring it home and you clean that piece really well. After cleaning and it's dry, you do a scuff sand with a fine grit sanding pad. Then you take a cloth and you wipe off all the dust and maybe even a vacuum if you need to. The next step is to apply two coats of shellac. Then the next step is to mix that paint and get to painting. We painted three coats of Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint. Then we distressed it and I sealed it all off with Miss Mustard Seeds milk coat. Two coats, two coats of that. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I wanna say thank you to Miss Mustard Seed. There'll also be a blog post that goes along with this video and we'll be sure to link it below. If you have any questions about the tips that we shared today, please ask over on the blog post or here in the comments. We, we would love to help you out. Again, thanks to Miss Mustard Seed's Milk Paint for inviting me and we'll see you next time.